My story about the success team, I will start from the Philippines, inside our house. I was raised by a poor family. My father is a carpenter, and my mother took care of the children. We have about nine children. I'm the eldest among the boys. And during high school, my father will ask me, Herbie, do you want to work with me in building construction? Which I did because I'm a good son. I want to be the role model of my uh, my other, uh, younger brothers. So during high school, I worked with my father. I'm a laborer doing manual labor. And my father kept his promise that I will send all of you to school. And most of us finished college. And that gave, that gave me the opportunity to leave the Philippines in 1984. I was given the opportunity to work as a merchant marine, and my first assignment was in Louisiana, New Orleans. And during that time as a merchant marine, it gave me a chance to meet different people of nationalities, and that gave me the chance to learn the diverse community working together. And America is nice, become my next home, my true home now, and that's the reason I'm a candidate today, because I want to give back all the good things that America has given to me, to my family. And also, my success team followed in 1990 in San Francisco. I was a member of Saster Action Team, 50 members that eat their say, uh, fire all over the city. We are the first 50 people that they will call to help the people give them the needs they give them the disaster the disaster needs we are the first people who respond give them the tools they need for their work the next day move them to hotels and then the next uh, next success team that i was involved is uh, when i became the consumers affairs commission in alameda county thank you okay um i've been a member of many successful teams, but I'm gonna bring up one tonight that affected San Leandro and affected our school districts. Um, it's, I brokered a deal between the garbage companies and the schools for free garbage service for our schools. Uh, I was able to talk to Louis Pellegrini from ACI, and he was easy. Louis a sweetheart, and I was able to convince him right away that it would be really nice of him and uh, something in keeping with his heritage that he would give the schools free garbage service and recycling service. Um, waste management in Oral Loma, that was a different story. Uh, I actually had to, from the council meeting, uh, pull their 10-year contract uh, to have a little discussion with them to see if they could provide the same service for our schools. Uh, they were able to uh, do that finally through my connection with Ron Diaz on the Oral Loma Sanitary uh, District Board. He works on the EBDA board with me, and I'm the chair, and he used to be the chair, and we work on the regulatory commission together. But it took me about an hour to convince him that he really needed to do this for the schools and to convince the Oral Loma Sanitary District that they should do this for our schools too. It wasn't an easy sell, but the schools are now saving 200000 a year, and over the life of the contract, they're going to save $2 million. That's incredible, and that money can be put for other things. Thank you.